Hi. Recently, Jess Codes made a great video about dual grid tile systems. Uh, this is an old technique. I've heard it called offset grid tile systems, but it's never been very popular, which is a shame because it's brilliant. If you don't know about it, I'd highly recommend Jess Codes' video. It explains it very, very well. In this video, I'm going to show how you can use better terrain to achieve that kind of effect. I have an example level here. I have uh, two tile map layers. We've got the dirt layer, which is what I'm going to apply the dual grid technique to. At the moment, it's just blocks. And there's also some more sort of level stuff. And they fit together quite nicely. But what I want to see is these dirt blocks having nice rounded, uh, rounded edges and corners. The first step for a dual grid is to offset the grid a little bit. So I'm going to add eight pixels. Uh, the tiles are 16 by 16. So I'm adding eight pixels offset to this. So now, so now tile zero zero has its top left where tile zero zero center is in the other layer. Uh, it's just offset by half a tile, basically. Obviously, the dirt doesn't look quite right, but we're going to sort that out. If you think about placing a tile, so if I place dirt here, in a dual grid system, if I place dirt here, it means the dirt should be centered around the top left, which I can achieve using these little corner tiles. Uh, so it would look something like that. Here's one, and there we go. So when I click here to place dirt, I really want this to appear. I'm going to go into better terrain. I'm going to make a new terrain called dirt. I'm going to make it have a yellow color and it's going to be set to match tiles. I'm also going to give it the icon of the dirt square. So I know what I'm dealing with. Now, when I click dirt in a square, I'm going to want to put that top left corner. So I can test that out. Well, that's fine. <laughs> but we want to place the corresponding corner pieces around it. But these tiles should remain empty. So we're going to use decorations for those. These three are going to be decorations. Uh, now, for decorations to work, we need to give them some peering bits. Uh, so this top right facing corner uh, should be placed when there's dirt to the right of it. So it should be placed here. And we can check that that works. There we go. Similarly, the bottom left facing corner uh, should be placed when there's dirt underneath it, like so. And this one should be placed when there's dirt to the bottom right of it, like that. So now we have little sp <laughs> little spots of dirt being placed. But obviously it's no good for combining lots of them together. What we need to do is fill in all of the tiles. So the ones that have dirt in the top left are going to be categorized as dirt. So that's these ones. Yep. And the other ones are going to be decorations because they're uh, they're empty in the top left. Then I'm going to fill in the peering bits. Uh, so this one, it's top left and top right. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but if we think about uh, where this would be placed, I'll just zoom down here. This would be placed um, when we've got dirt to the right of it. And all the stuff that goes around it will be decorations. So that would need dirt to the right. Uh, this one, similarly, when dirt is below it, uh, this one goes like that. This one's a combination. Uh, I said I wasn't going to explain them all, but you can kind of see there's a pattern. The center and bottom sort of corner bits just make up the same pattern that the tile has. So once we've got that, we should be able to draw. And what we see, I'll turn this grid off because it's a little bit tricky to see, 
is that it behaves quite nicely. Let's get rid of that stuff. Whoops. Now, if we come down here, I'm going to fill these in with dirt, causing them to be auto tiled. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Obviously, the grid here is offset. But if I go back to the tech uh, and turn on the grid, it is aligned to the grid. And if I zoom in, you can see these have a very nice, even placement that follows the grid lines, but it, it can go inside and outside of them, depending on whatever art you want to use. And of course, this is easy to do from the code as well, just with the usual better terrain uh, functions. And I can draw more dirt on, it looks good, or I can erase it. So you have a player that digs down there and digs along, makes a little base. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, I thought that was pretty interesting and hopefully that's helpful. As always, any questions or comments you have, uh, leave them below and I'll try and respond to them. And I hope you enjoy using the plugin. Okay, bye.